So I'm going to show you guys how to open up the soft top here on the Ford Bronco. Ford makes it very simple. There's these two handles here. You just basically push them down. I pre-did this before I turned on the camera. Once you do that, just basically lift this up. And the soft top will basically fold it down like that. Like I mentioned, you can't get a soft top or a hard top here on the Ford Bronco. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to Lorenzo Ford for giving me time with the all new 2021 Ford Bronco here. As you guys can see, my model is painted in this cyber orange exterior color, which looks really good with the black interior. We'll talk about the interior in a few moments. But back in 1966, Ford introduced the Bronco with a 4x4 system, which basically changed the off-road scene. This does compete against a Jeep Wrangler as well. So really good competitor in this segment. And back in 1996, Ford did kill off the Bronco here in America, and most people and more people started buying the Explorer and also the Expedition. But Ford, they did bring it back for the sixth generation here, and this has been going off the U.S. market for around 20 to 26 years. So I mean, the Bronco are basically in the same age range since they discontinued it. But let's talk about the front styling of the Ford Bronco. Looking at the front styling of the Ford Bronco, looking at these headlights here, they're going to be a full LED design with the automatic low and high beam. This is the LED turn signal and daytime running light, and it does come standard on all Broncos. My apologies for the noise in the background. They are doing some uh, landscaping across the street. There's this little side marker here, and this is a steel bumper here. I love the exposed screw heads here. There is front parking sensors also with these recovery hooks here. I wish Ford would have basically painted this a cyber orange as well, so you can see them in a non-lit area, but most people may do aftermarket red tow hooks or even the exterior color of the vehicle. You also have really good departure, breakover, and approach angles here on the Bronco. That's also that metal skip plate there, so you can take this thing off-roading. This also has an independent front suspension, an independent front suspension also with a solid rear axle, so really good capability here on the Ford Bronco. And Ford says you can afford around 33.5 inches of water with both the 33 and 35 inch uh, tires here. So really good capability from the Bronco. But making our way to the side profile here and looking at the Ford Bronco here, this has a wheelbase of 116.1 inches with an overall length of 189.4 inches. So this is right on par with everything else in this segment here. I love the cladding here on the side profile. These tires here are really capable tires. I love the treading, very aggressive treading here. Like I mentioned, this does have a front independent suspension here, which is really good. So you can do some really good articulation off-road. This also has a body on frame. Looking here at these tires and wheels here, these are a 285-70 BF Goodrich tire. So they're all-terrain tires. So really good tires here on the market. I love the uh, multi-spoke design here for the rim. And I also love the exposed screw heads that you get on the rim design as well. Like I mentioned, body on frame uh, vehicle here. This does have the Batlands badge here on the side fender. There's a spotlight here. So basically, if you're in a, on a dark, if you're in a dark area, you can basically light up the trail. And I love that Ford has the uh, mirror here actually on the actual cow of the vehicle instead of on the actual door here on like the Jeep Wrangler. So if you guys were to take the doors off, you can basically still have the mirrors intact. And this also has blind spot monitoring. And my model does come with this soft top here, which is really nice. You can also get a hard top if you would like. I love the black painted door handles and this is how you lock the vehicle via this area here. By making our way to the rear of the Ford Bronco, looking at these tail lights here, they're full LED with the LED turn signal, brake light and reverse light. There's the Ford emblem here. This is one of the only areas that you're gonna basically say, see that it says Ford, if I'm not mistaken. And there's the seven and four pin connector down there. And Ford says you can tow up to 3,500 pounds, even with the two door version of the Bronco. There's also rear parking sensors with these recovery hooks here. Like I mentioned, this does have a solid rear axle. And as you guys can see, the Bilstein shocks, which is really good shocks here. There's also that single exhaust trim over there. You also get this full spare tire, just like on the Jeep uh, Wrangler. That's also the backup camera there. Open up the cargo back here. This has this barn-like door. You can basically open it like this. If you guys need the, the max uh, opening capability, you can do it just like this. As you guys can see, very large area here. So you can put a lot of items in the actual cargo area. And with the seats folded up, Ford says you get around 35.2 cubic feet of space. And once you fold down the rear seats, that expands the cargo to 77.6 cubic feet of space. So really good cubic feet of space. And lifting this up, it does reveal a shallow amount of storage. But overall, I'm very impressed with the exterior styling. Ford did a fantastic job here with the Ford Bronco. But let's hop into the interior of the Bronco. Getting inside the interior of the Ford Bronco Batlands, this does have that cyber orange exterior color. It does transition over into the actual cabin, as you guys can see, it's on the air vents also on the actual mount pockets down there even on that grab handle over there 
even right here in this some nice bright orange stitching on the actual seats the seats in here they feel very plush and very comfortable very supportive seats and i like that ford offers this compared to a jeep wrangler which feels a little bit more on the hard side but this but the seats in here feel more comfortable and more supportive but reaching over here to shut the door of the ford bronco if you guys can hear that loud chime, that's letting you know that the key fob is not detected. And it does have this frameless uh, glass here, but looking here at this uh, display here, it is analog. It does have this partial digital display here that you can customize via this pad here. It does show your battery uh, voltage, also your temperature and your oil temperature and your turbo boost. So you can customize the screen to your liking. Looking over here is the turn signal and automatic high beam switch with the wind wiper stock there, which looks really nice. Looking at the materials, very class leading compared to a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, but Ford didn't put their nicer materials like from the Ford F-150, but of course this is an off-road vehicle. So Ford wants the interior to be more durable. The materials on the dash gonna be a nice soft touch ejection mode to plastic. There's this grab handle here. So if you're doing some serious off-roading, you can basically grab that. Looking down here is for the uh, headlight controls. There's your dimmer switch there and this there's a spotlight here for the mirror so if you're in a really dark area you can press these buttons here to basically have the trail lit up and this is a manual tilt and telescoping wheel it does offer a decent amount of range and adjustability which is really good looking here this is a 12 inch display as you guys can see there's the apple carplay a very responsive apple carplay going here to the ways map it does take up the a portion the portion of the screen here i'm not sure if it takes up the full 12 inch display um I, I think it doesn't do it just like on the ford f-150 that i recently just tested and this is the sync 4 infotainment system here so ford will push over the air updates if this uh if your system if the system needs it here uh going here to the ford navigation they've been updating this navigation over the last couple of years very responsive as you guys can see there's no lag and i just turned the vehicle on before filming this and it didn't um, basically start up no lag. Looking up here, you can unlock the front diff, the rear diff. Also, this is for the turn assist here. So if you guys were doing some serious off-roading on a tight trail, you can basically uh, press this and it will lock the center wheel to basically have a, to have really good turning radius. And there's the traction control and the hazard button there. And Ford has put this little mount here for a GoPro. So if you guys have a GoPro camera, you can basically mount that here. Really nice materials here. Very, like I mentioned, very doable materials because this is an off-road vehicle here. There's some auxiliary ports up here so you guys can add like aftermarket uh, lights if you want or even a winch. And there's also LED lights throughout the cabin which, which show really bright here. There's the Bronco name here on the actual dashboard. I love the uh, orange accents here on the actual air vent. Looking down here is gonna be dual climb control. There is three level heated seats here. I'm surprised that Ford didn't go with cool seats. I think that'd have been a nice feature. Uh, looking here, there's these big volume and tune knobs here. There's the automatic start stop function. You can access the camera via this button here. It will show you a top down 360 view. Also with a front facing view there. Uh, click it again, it will go back to the uh, uh, main screen here. There's your sync track and playback button there. Looking down here is gonna be a USB-C with the USB port. My iPhone 12 Pro Max, it fits in there if it wasn't connected to the wire. There's the Bronco here on the actual shifter. And you can cycle through that 10-speed automatic via this uh, switch gear here. And keep in mind, if you guys want a seven-speed manual transmission, Ford, Ford will offer that here on the Bronco. This is the 10-speed, of course. There's the Bronco plaque here. It's basically show you where the vehicle has been assembled at. And I like that the bolts are basically being shown here to show you that this vehicle is very capable. There's two cup holders here. And there's the GOAT mode here, which means go over any terrain here. There's a two high, four low, four high, four auto. And there is a hill descent control there. If you were to switch it over to the left or the right, it will show you normal. There's also an eco mode, and there's a slippery mud and ruts. There's also sand, and we'll put the vehicle in 4x4. Four four. And there's also a Baja mode and a rock crawl mode. So like I mentioned, you can basically take this vehicle off-roading and do some serious uh, trail hunting if you like. And as you can see, once you put it in its rock crawl mode here, it will show a more wider uh, angle of the uh, front camera there. Like I mentioned, very important to have when you're off-roading. Over here is for the window switch. It is auto up, auto down for all four windows, which is super impressive. I think the Jeep Wrangler doesn't even offer auto down for all four windows. You can also lock the, win the windows via this button here, and you can adjust the mirrors via this control here. And my model does have the soft top. Ford will offer a hard top as well if you would like. But once this opens up, it will let a lot of light into this cabin. The center armrest here is gonna be nice and padded. It does reveal a decent amount of storage. There's also a 12 volt in there, but overall, Let's take a look at the glove compartment really quick. It does offer a decent uh, size in there, but 
I'm very impressed with this cabin. Ford did a really good job. It lets you know that Ford did come to play with the Jeep Wrangler. Getting into the back seat here of the Ford Bronco, um, my model does not come with running board. So if you guys are short like myself, I would look for an aftermarket uh, company that offers running board or even check out your local dealership to see if they have running boards as an option. But looking down here, Ford says you get around 36.3 inches of legroom here in the back seat of the Bronco. And for example, I have my keys clamped here on this uh, area here. This is what Ford wants you to basically use. And Ford, a while back, they did give me this Bronco uh, clamp here. So for example, once you clamp this here, as you guys can see, the keys will basically stay there because they're clamped. I do love the exposed screw heads here to let you know that this vehicle is very capable. There is two uh, map pockets uh, that you guys get on the passenger side and also on the driver's side. And this area here, it just says no step. So Ford recommends you not to step on this area here. There's your window switches uh, down there. It is a USB with the USB type C there. It's also a household outlet. The floor back here is not flat, but you do get plenty of space back here in the Bronco. It does not feel like a penalty box back here. It feels very open and very spacious putting this down here it does reveal two cup holders and like i mentioned my model does have this soft top you can go for hard top if you would like but overall i'm very impressed with the interior space of the ford bronco let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the ford bronco batlands this uses ford's 2.3 liter four cylinder this powertrain makes 275 horsepower and 315 pound feet of torque on regular grade gas if you guys put premium in this thing it will make 300 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque this is paired with a 10 speed automatic transmission keep in mind you can get a seven speed manual with a crawler gear so if you guys want to shift your own gears i would recommend going for the seven speed manual over this 10 speed automatic fuel economy here for the Bronco is right at 18 in the city, 17 on the highway, and 17 combined. And the Bronco can tow up to 3,500 pounds. Then off in the 2021 Ford Bronco, this is the Batlands package. This has Ford's 2.3 liter four cylinder. Our regular gas is, makes 275 horsepower and 315 pound feet of torque. If you guys put premium gas in the Bronco here, it makes 300 horsepower and 325 pound feet of torque. Me personally, I would just put premium gas in this thing to give you the full a maximum with the horsepower and torque and this also has ford's 10 speed automatic transmission which was co-developed with uh, gm but it's a really good transmission uh, if you guys don't like the 10 speed you guys can get a seven speed manual so ford still offers a, a manual here on the bronco which is a really cool thing if you guys like to shift your own gears instead of the computer basically doing it for you but there is a manual mode here once you kick the uh, shifter down into m I was so confused. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> I was so lost. They have scooters down here? I guess so. I'm pretty sure you took that from Miami Beach. <laughs> but the visibility out of the Bronco is really good visibility. The seats in here, they're leather. I like the uh, orange stitching that Ford uses. The same color as the exterior. Ford causes a cyber orange, which looks really nice. And I love the black um, interior as well. So it goes really good with the color combination here. And the ride quality on the Bronco is really good. These tires, you feel the tires, you do hear a little bit of wind noise if you guys go for the soft top here, which is not a deal breaker for me personally. And you can't let a lot of, you can't let a lot of light into this cabin once you open up this uh, soft top here so you can get having more airy and open cabin. Like I mentioned, great visibility. Let's talk about the driver's assistance here. This does have Ford's driver's assistance, which includes emergency braking with Ford collision warning. Also with blind spot monitoring. I think on the Jeep, you have to go for a different trim in order to get the blind spot monitoring feature. I think Ford makes it standard on the Bronco. If they do, that's a really nice feature. And as you guys can hear, the engine shut off because it's in this automatic start stop mode. And I tested out the automatic start stop mode in the Jeep. Once you release your foot off the brake, it does feel a little jittery here in, the, here in the Ford. It feels more smooth. The materials are very decent, of course. It's a, uh, an off-road vehicle, so Ford didn't put none of their nicer materials like they have in the Ford F-150, but the materials are still decent compared to a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I love that you have the dual climate control. That's three level heated seats here. I wish Ford would offer cool seats. I think that would have been a nice touch. And this is a 12 inch display here. Very large infotainment system here. I love the steering wheel. And honestly, there's really no Ford badges on the Bronco. There's a lot of running horses, of course, because it's a Bronco, which I think is a nice feature, but I think they should offer maybe a couple of more badges to signify that this is a Ford product because most people look like, hey, what is this? If you're not a big fan of Ford, you wouldn't really know what the Bronco is. And it's been off the US market 
for around 25 to 26 years. So me and the Bronco were kind of in the same age range, so we're kind of old. Um, but Ford, they did a really good job when they redesigned the Bronco and the driving dynamics here is really good. I wish we had some off-road uh, courses to go on so I could show you guys how capable the Bronco is. But here in South Florida, we do not have any off-road trails, unfortunately. But I wish that we did so I can show you how capable the Jeep, I mean, the Jeep. I'll show you guys how capable the Bronco is um, because I've seen some other YouTubers, they basically reviewed the Bronco and it's very capable. It gives the Jeep a run for its money. But if you guys are tired of the Jeep because the Jeep has been dominating this segment for many, many years and Ford said, you know what, forget that. We have to bring something to play uh, in this segment. So they brought back the Bronco, which is a really good idea. And Ford, just keep doing your thing. And I love the new uh, 2022 color that they have, which is a dark green. So hopefully once the dealership gets one in stock, I will bring you guys uh, that Bronco review. Starting price here for the Ford Bronco Badlands here is at $44,590 with the options and accessories, including destination, the Ford Bronco Badlands here stickers for $56,000. $55. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next review.